Ricky Waisaki here, two-time world champion. Welcome to my 2020 in the cart. So let's get started. We'll first off talk about distance drivers. I've got mostly destroyers. Uh, I've grabbed, my, grabbed the stack here. So I guess all my distance drivers are destroyers. <laughs> I like to keep very few molds in my bag. And as you can see, these are all destroyers, uh, all different stages of wear and tear. I like to throw certain discs only for backhand and some discs only for sidearm. So I'll go ahead and explain Explain, explain the different discs. So these three are my backhand destroyers only, super overstable. I'm throwing them on flex lines, hyzer shots into headwinds. Uh, they can really handle some torque, handle some power. And I know it's gonna have the nice consistent left finish. So I've got a pop top uh, uh, destroy, champion destroyer. Uh, I've got a pop top metal flake destroyer. And I've got another pop top metal flake destroyer also. So I like the metal flakes. They really have a lot of consistency. They have that little bit of glide for me, but then dump real hard left, nice consistent finish. And then my other destroyers are, these ones are my sidearm only destroyers. So these two are SDSs, they're actually lighter weight. The, this one is a 167, I believe, real pop top, nice and grippy. I can bomb this 400, 450 foot sidearms. So this is a side, sidearm only destroyer, as well as this one. This is also 168. I like the, the lighter weight destroyers for my sidearms. I feel like it has enough glide. The SDS is a super overstable run of destroyers. So I really think the lighter weight makes it get that extra glide, but still have that nice finish. So lighter weight destroyers for my sidearms. And then for my power backhands, I'm going, I've been really liking the Halo destroyers. So I've got, a lot of people have been seeing this one fly lately. It's a black smoke, uh, black or gray smoky kind of color uh, with some swirls in there. This one's been awesome, pop top. This one glides for days and I can throw this one 550 on a rope. And then I've got a newer version of the Halo Destroyer. Same run as that one, different color. It's a little more overstable. I really like the Halo run because you can really hit it hard on a little bit of an ante or hyzer and it pop up, pops up to flat and glides, but yet still has that left finish. And it's tough to find a disc that you can throw as hard as you can and get it to turn, but yet still come back at the end. And then the good old trusty Huck Lab Destroyer. This is an SDS 175. Uh, this has been my most consistent disc since I've been with Innova. This thing's been in the bag from the start. And this is a Geisinger special. He gave me this from his collection. This one's money. Now we'll go ahead and, and work our way to the fairway drivers. Uh, most, of, most of my fairway drivers are T-Birds or Eagles. So we'll start off with, with the T-Birds. I've got two T-Birds in the bag right now. I've got the T-Bird 3, Champion T-Bird 3. This is my signature disc, obviously. This one, I like the domier ones. Uh, this, they, they seem to glide better and have a little bit more stability than the flatter ones, so I like to choose the domier ones if I have the choice. So there's the 175 Champion T-Bird 3. And then for my beat up T-Bird shots, I don't really, I normally just use a beat up T-Bird 3, but I don't have one right now, so I just got a, a beat up 11 time T-Bird. This thing is a, a nice hyzer flip to glide to turn right. It's not really gonna finish left ever, so I'm never, you'll never see me throw this for a left finishing shot. It's always gonna be straight to maybe a little bit right, only backhand shots. And the newest addition I actually from fairway drivers is a, a Halo Thunderbird. Really been liking the Halo plastic. It's stiff, consistent, and really feels really good in the hand. Really stiff plastic, I really enjoy that. And it looks cool, so <laughs> that's a, definitely a big bonus. This one's gonna be a little bit more overstable than the T-Bird 3 shot. I can flex it, whereas the T-Bird I'm throwing hyzer flip. The Thunderbird I'm throwing flex to come back left. And I can throw it into headwinds, it's really, really trustable in the headwinds. And then my uh, coolest disc in the bag, I think, is the Champion Edition Eagle. This one's an Eagle X flat top, and this is super trustworthy. It's just my dead straight disc. I know what it's gonna do every time, and really uh, a disc I can lean on. If, I'm, if I don't know what shot to throw, or you know, I'm kinda up in the air, I'll go for this, and I know exactly what it's gonna do. And then Champion Max, this thing is, this thing is a meat hook. I throw this thing mostly on super crazy flex lines, or if I'm trying to throw hyzer spikes, uh, really good in the wind. It goes a little bit further than my Firebird, so it gets that little extra distance that I need. Uh, but it's a flat top bubble rim, actually, Champion Max. Now we'll go for we'll go for my uh, my Firebird stash right here. We'll go and work with those next. So I guess these would be considered fairways also. 
but I've got five, one, two, three, I've got five Firebirds in the bag. Uh, these ones are all flat top Firebirds. Firebird, I really like to be flat. That's the one disc that I prefer flat. But the, we'll start it off with the 11 time. So 11 time, this one's a sidearm only disc. Like I said, certain discs in my bag are only sidearm versus backhand. This is a sidearm glider. This thing I can hit gaps with, I can turn it and really manipulate the angles with this thing. It's a 175 champion flat top Firebird. And then Luster Green, this is a flat top also. This one's start, starting to work in because I've thrown it a lot this season. It's been a workhorse for me. So this is starting to have a little bit more glide. I'm a natural flex thrower, so the Firebird fits my throw really well. Uh, I can throw it on flex and I can even throw it on hyzer when I need to. So the Luster Firebird has been a staple. And this is also a Luster Firebird. Firebird. It's green also, but it's a little newer. So I can flex it and I know it's gonna come out quicker and it's gonna not glide as far as that one since it's broken in a little bit more. So this is just an extra trusty Firebird. If it's a little bit more headwind, I'll grab this one. If it's a little bit more tailwind or no wind, I'll go for the, the more beat up one. And then for my sidearm only Firebirds, these are stiff flat top. As, uh, as always, I love the flat top Firebird. This one is, uh, is money. These things are just so consistent. I got that little, they have a, they're a little broken in these two. Uh, but they're just so consistent a little and for some reason I like this run of opaque flat top firebirds They they grip better for sidearm. I noticed certain plastics grip better for sidearm versus backhand So that's why you'll see me throw certain runs of the same disc for backhand versus sidearm just so you guys know And then also similar disc to that last one flat top uh, Firebird only sidearm disc. It's a little more beat up. I can really manipulate the angles There's not a disc out there that I can't feel like I can hit a gap and then have a late finish and really just have the most control anything under 400 feet really with a Firebird backhand or sidearm. That's why you see so many in the bag. We'll go with, now we'll go with the rocks. So I've got a stack of four rocks. I've got all, all KC Pro. We'll go with my newest one in the bag. That is a no time KC Pro rock. I think it was right between the, uh, the 11 time and the 12 time. So it's an older run. Uh, this one is, I like a more, I like a slightly beat up rock. Uh, I can throw, I can throw um, anywhere from new all the way to beat up, and that's what you'll see here with 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 what I'll talk about here in a second. But this one's my newest one, no time. And then the 11 time KC Pro. This one's slightly beat up. It's uh, not quite as new as that one, but it fits the straight slot, and I can really no count on this disc for tunnel shots. It's not the best in the wind, but that's why I have a Firebird and I have some pigs, as I'll talk about in a minute. But there's another rock, and then the cool stamp I have. Is a rainbow 11 time rock. For some reason, the 11 time rocks just break in really nicely. And I've just, it's hard to get away from the 11 time rock. Just such a good feel, such a good consistent disc, and it breaks in so smoothly. So, this is the uh, other 11 time rock. And then I've got another KC Pro Glow. This one's beat up. Uh, Heiser flip shots, turnover shots that are gliding hard right and that I maybe can't fit a sidearm in there. So, I have this disc in there as kind of a specialty rock disc. And now I've got my two throwing AVRs. I've got a big bead white AVR. This thing is for short up shots, throw-ins, if I'm trying to throw something in, or long spin putts, 80 to 100 footers that I'm maybe trying to ante around a tree or hit a gap. This is a, one of the few putters that I'll throw and putt with also. And then my upshot, strictly upshot only disc is uh, the, just a DX Glow AVR, just a very uh, stock run, nothing special about this, but it's just DX AVRs are just su such good, consistent, straight approach discs, and this thing's broken in like perfectly right now. So, this is going to be a you'll see me throwing this a lot and just you know, anything under 300 feet, just trying to get up there for an up and down. And now to the most interesting part of my bag it looks like I have six pigs. That's got to be a world record for most pigs in the bag. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but yeah, that's a record for me. I'll put it that way. Uh, it, it's just crazy how much I've learned to love the pig. I didn't think I could love it any more than I did at the beginning of the year. But as you can see, it's uh, my pig addiction has gotten real. And it's for, because I've thrown a lot of good shots for them, with them. So there's a good reason that I'm addicted to throwing the pig, as you get addicted to throwing good shots. That's what it is. But we will start with the newest edition, my 2020 Tour Series. This thing is overstable. It's brand new, and it's just such a good wind disc. I love the pig because I can throw them sidearm, I can throw them backhand, I can throw them so many different angles and just, I can throw them as hard as I can and I know exactly what they're gonna do every time. And it's really hard to find a disc like that, especially a putter. So 
there's my new pig and also I've got another glow one it's the same run as it this is a 2020 uh, run it doesn't have the stamp on it just got a team in of a stamp on this one but it's the same run as most of you guys have been throwing which is my 2020 tour series this one's a little newer uh, not quite as new as that one but nice pretty new and can handle the wind and then I've got a slightly broken in 2019 tour series uh, this is a little different plastic a little different feel but it fits a little bit different shot this one's obviously 2019 so it's broken in a little bit more than my 2020s so I can really manipulate the angles I can throw them straight I can throw them hyzer flip even as we get down the line to the flippier ones so that's why I have so many pigs. I can throw them as hard as I can on different angles and I can just get hit whatever angle I need to with all these six pigs. And I got the another Team Innova series, 2020 Tour Series. Uh, this one is very similar to that one, but it's a lot more broken in. So that's why I love the pigs so much is because they, they, for a pro plastic, they're pretty durable, but at the same time they break in just perfectly to where you can, you know, people are like, how do you get a pig to fly that straight? Well, that's just because it's broken in a little bit more and I throw a lot of power on it and a lot of angles, get it to glide straight, 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 and then carry left at the very end. So that's the most reliable finish for me. And it, the pig just fits my swing and my throw type so perfectly. And I can throw it, I can throw a pig like a mid-range basically. I can throw a pig like a putter. I can throw a pig like, pig like a mid-range. So any, anything in between. And that's why I have so many in the bag. Now we're working our way to the flippy ones. This blue one I've been throwing since I basically got, since they basically came out. This is the 2019. This is one of the longest discs on my bag along with this orange one. But this is just gonna be trick shots, hyzer flips, long turnovers that are gonna hold left because of how broken in it is. So this one's mostly turnovers, hyzer flip to flat. Um, it's funny to talk about a pig hyzer flipping, right? But this one's just so broken in that I can throw it with a lot of power, get it to flip up straight, even turn a little bit, and then still have that pig finish at the end. And then this orange one is the most, as you can see, it's pretty trashed. Uh, this thing is super beat up, really, really good for just basically turnovers. It's really not a hyzer flip, it's mostly just hyzer flip to turn. So it's really just gonna turn over, whether I throw it sidearm or backhand, but it's really good for severe angles. If I'm throwing real, like I need to throw a real tight sidearm that flips quick left and doesn't really come back. This thing's so beat up that it doesn't really have that pig finish anymore, which is good for certain shots. And now to my money makers, my putting putters. Uh, I've, you guys have seen me throw these, these uh, Santa Cruz stamp uh, putters. These things have been amazing. They have been my go-to since I went to Santa Cruz, I believe two years ago. They gave me these, this stamp. So these have been my go-to putters for this whole season, really. I like a little bit more of a broken in putter, a putter maybe that you've putted with for a month or two months. So that's about the lifespan of a putter for me. Once it, once it hits about one or two months is when it's in its prime for me. One to two months, all the way to like six months. That's when I like a putter, and that's right where these are right now. Just just because I feel like when they're broken in a little bit more, they have that little bit better grip. I like the KC plastic, so I like it a little bit grippy, and the only way to get that is to break it in. And then I've got a cool Saki Bomb stamped, uh, AV, just a regular KC Pro AVR, but nothing beats a good consistent feel and flight of a KC Pro AVR. And then the New Mexico stamp, everyone's been asking me about these. These, these ones are, I'm starting to run out of these. I got them when I first started, first on the team at Innova. I went to the factory, this is what they had on, in, in stock, and I grabbed a couple, and now this is one of my last few, and I'm starting to wean myself off of them because they're all starting to beat up. But yeah, that's my, that's, that's my in the cart. This is, I didn't really go into detail, but this is the Ridge Roller 3. That is what's holding all my discs here. I've got the putter pouch. Of course, I got my Saki Bomb face mask for uh, the times like we got going on in 2020. And yeah, Ridge Roller is a great sponsor of mine. They've, uh, they make a great cart. It's gonna be a great tool to have out here at, in Vermont for the two courses that we have, the wooded course and the open course out here at Fox Run. And it can handle all the terrains and I'm just super happy with their product. Got a nice seat upgrade. And um, I've got the cart handle that lifts up so my Raptor legs don't hit the back of the cart. And so yeah, it's just been a great, a great tool for me to have on tour to to have all these discs and fit all my pigs in there. Thanks for joining me in the 2020 In The Cart. Big shout out to Gatekeeper Media for filming and hope to see you next time.